哈喽，大家好。谷歌呢前两天发布了号称人类有史以来最强大的 AI 人工智能模型 g m i n i 那刚刚发布这个模型呢，就受到了这个褒贬不一的评价。有人就怀疑 g m i n i 的这个演示几乎是伪造的。很多人对 Google 的这个 AI 技术和视频的完整性抱有怀疑的态度。那之后，一段名为“与 Gemini 互动的多模式 AI 交互视频”发布不久呢，就达到了一百万的观看量，由此也引发了很多的讨论。那这这个视频呢，我会放到视频的后面，大家可以自行去观看。那 Gemini 呢，是以一个从头开始构建的多模态画文本、图像、视频、音频和代码的。的一个 AI 人工智能，那这一次 Google 发布的这一个 Gemini 人工智能呢，与之前发布的这些 AI 人工智能多了一个视频这样的一个多模态功能。You know, one of the reasons we got interested in AI from the very beginning is that we always viewed our mission as a timeless mission. It's to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. But as Information has grown in scale and complexity. You know, the problem has gotten harder. So we always knew we needed to have a deeper breakthrough to make progress. I've worked on AI my whole life because I've always felt it would be the most beneficial and consequential technology for humanity. Human beings in our society would have five senses, and the world we built and the media we consume is in those、uh, different modalities. So, I'm super proud and excited to announce the launch of the Gemini era, a first step towards a truly universal AI model. The Gemini approach to multimodality is all the kinds of things you want、uh, an artificial intelligence system to be able to do, and these are th- capabilities that haven't really existed in computers before. Traditionally, multimodal models. Are created by stitching together text-only, vision-only, and audio-only models in a suboptimal way at a secondary stage. Gemini is the multimodal from the ground up, so it can seamlessly have a conversation across modalities and give you the best possible response. Gemini is our largest and most capable model. It means that Gemini can understand the world around us in the way that we do,、uh, and absorb any type of input and output. So not just text like most models, but also code, audio, image, and video. What's amazing about Gemini is that it's so good at so many things. As we started getting to the end of the training,、uh, we started seeing that Gemini was better than any other model out there on these very, very important benchmarks. For example, each of the 50 different subject areas that we tested on,、um, it's as good as the best expert humans in those areas. It's very rare that you can work on a technology at a foundational level and it simultaneously can impact all our products. We created a family of models that can run on everything from mobile devices to data centers, each of which is actually best in class. Gemini will be available in three sizes: Gemini Ultra, our most capable and largest model for highly complex tasks; Gemini Pro, our best performing model for a broad range of tasks; and Gemini Nano, our most efficient model for on-device tasks. We want to provide the best foundational building blocks, and then we know、um, developers and enterprise customers are going to figure out really creative ways to further refine our Gemini foundational models, and the potential is almost limitless. So at Google, there's this healthy disregard for the impossible, and that has oriented us to be both bold and responsible together. As these systems become more capable, all of those capabilities also raise new questions. We have to think about what it means to have an image be a part of, for example, the input, because an image might be innocuous on its own, or text might be innocuous on its own, but the combination could be offensive or hurtful. Safety and responsibility has to be built in from the beginning, and at Google DeepMind, that's what we've done with Gemini. We develop proactive policies and adapt those to the unique considerations of multimodal capabilities. We then do rigorous testing against those policies to prevent the harms that we've identified with approaches like classifiers and filters. If I were to look at the foundational breakthroughs in AI over the past decade, Google has been at the forefront of many of those breakthroughs. And I think Gemini continues that rich tradition. 
it's been an enormous sort of monumental engineering task, which has been, you know, very challenging, but also very exciting. I have been at Google for quite a while. And the reason I'm here is really, I believe in the company's mission. And I think Gemini is a great step in that overall mission. We end up with a world that has more knowledge and that people have more access to information that otherwise would not be available to them. That's what excites me, the chance to make AI helpful for everyone, everywhere in the world. Nazi是谷歌第一次发布GMini的第一个人工智能模型 和GBD4的一个测试对比，可以说已经遥遥领先GBD4。那这一次GMini会发布三个版本，第一个是Ultra，还有一个Polo，还有一个就是Nano版本。那对于谷歌发布的这一次GMini的这一个人工智能模型，
Citrus can be calming and so can the spin of the fidget toy. They are both examples of popular toys that have been enjoyed by children and adults alike for many years. Give me some ideas for what I could make with this. I see pink and green yarn. How about a dragon fruit? Or how about a green cake with a pink heart? Okay, how about these colors? And maybe show me some animals. Okay, now I see blue and pink yarn. How about a pig with blue ears? Or an octopus? Or a bunny with a pink nose? Ooh, I'll keep those in mind. Which way should the duck go? Going left leads to a duck, which is a friend. Going right leads to a bear, which is a foe. It is better to make friends than foes, so the duck should go left. <laughs> Smart choice. This is a picture of a crab. That's right. Is this the right order? No. The correct order is Sun, Earth, Saturn. Based on their design, which of these would go faster? The car on the right would be faster. It is more aerodynamic. Which looks more fun? The one on the right, because it has a loop. What do you think this person might be saying? How about a woohoo? Oh, I love that. I see you're drawing a guitar. You've added an amp. Now it's an electric guitar. We can make some seriously loud music now. Given that you added drums, how about some 80s hair metal? Alright, I see you've added a palm tree to the drawing. Change it up with some beachy vibes. What movie are they acting out here? I think they are acting out the famous bullet time scene from The Matrix. Ooh, nice! What do you think might happen next? The cat is going to jump to the wall and stick the landing. It's going to be a perfect 10. Oh, and it's a miss. It looks like it was just a little too far away. But don't worry, the cat is a natural athlete and it will be back up there in no time. Okay, I've got one more for you. Describe the drawing I made. It is a simple line drawing of the constellation Gemini. You did a good job of capturing the beauty of Gemini. Nice. That 那在这一次的Jimmy发布呢, Google也在官网表示, Google会将Jimmy的Polo版本带给Google的人工智能, Butter. 那目前呢,是可以在Butter中体验Jimmy的Polo. 稍后会将这个体验的网址放在视频的说明栏。大家可以咨询去获取。如果你在体验的过程中发现有什么有趣的事情，可以和我们在评论区一起分享。感谢你的观看，我们下期再见。